This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, we're going to talk about lathing. So in this video, we're going to use the lathe modifier to create one of these jetpacks. So let's first of all just start by hiding the robot's body. And then we need to draw a profile. Make that full screen. When I go to my create line, I want to think about a central axis that runs through this object that I'll basically sweep a shape around in order to create the full volume. So let's start with that top line there. We're going to round this out. All right, so as we get back to our center line here, we'll start there and we'll go up to that top vertex. Now, that looks like a pretty straight line right there, but when I go into modify and I grab those vertices, I'm not positive that they're absolutely vertical. So I just want to go to my scale tool and make sure I'm scaling on centers. And then we'll scale that down. By scaling the two vertices down on the center between them, I can guarantee that this line is perfectly vertical, which is a good thing when I want to lathe around a central axis. All right, so we're going to go in here and we're going to refine this shape a little bit. Make sure that these straps around the tanks aren't too thick. Now, I can go and find my lathe modifier, and when I put that on, I'm going to get a pretty odd looking shape right here. That's because right now when the lathe goes on, it finds the center of my shape that I drew and puts the axis there. I have alignment tools right here that allow me to pick the minimum edge, which would be the left edge, the center where it is right now, or the maximum edge is the right edge. So if we look at that maximum, it just moves it over. It's definitely not what we want. If we hit min, it aligns along the edge that we actually did create for that axis to line up on. I can always go into the axis sub object and move that axis wherever I want. So if we look around at the top of this, you can see by moving that axis out, we actually create an opening in that mesh. So we'll bring that back. All right, so one thing that I look at though is that the core here, where all these vertices come back together, if weld core is not turned on, I'll get some pretty messy faces around there. Because what's happening is right now, every one of these sets of edges here has a different vertex at that point that it's lining up to. So inevitably we're going to get some messy faces there if we don't turn on weld core. So if we go back and we'll switch this back to our left view. And look, we can make this a little bit better. So we're going to go back to the vertex level of our shape and we're going to pull that open. But I want to turn on my show end result. So that as I make adjustments, I'll actually see the full volume of the object changing. All right, that looks pretty good. So we'll get out of our sub object. Take a look around. I think that works. Now the top strap feels a little bit bigger than the bottom strap. So we'll go back in. We'll make that a little bit bigger there. So we'll be moving on to lofting. We're going to make an object just like this with a different process. 